Beirut's notorious Shatila refugee camp, or slum, was built for Palestinians. Now Syrians squeeze in here too. Refugees hosted by refugees. Here, two families are forced to live, ten people to a single room. Life is harsh here. I used to find myself wishing I would die. It would have been easier. Many of the people living here are invisible. They're not even registered for aid. That means getting papers, and they fear the long reach of the Syrian authorities. I can't pay the rent. Nobody helps me. I'm exhausted. If I had any money, I'd live anywhere but here. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of Syrians now measure their time as refugees, not in months, but in years. And with the war grinding on, they have little hope of going home. Like the Palestinians who built this place, the Syrians in Lebanon are becoming a permanent refugee population. And today, the UN registered the one millionth Syrian refugee in Lebanon. It means an unwanted celebrity for 18-year-old Yahya from Homs. Two and a half thousand more Syrians arrive every day. We have this message for the international community. Help Lebanon carry the burden of these refugees before Lebanon becomes a burden to you. That's a warning about stability in this country. Troops have been deployed in the north because of sectarian fighting. The refugee crisis makes it more likely that Syria's war will become Lebanon's too. Paul Wood, BBC News, Shatila.